hello sweetie welcome back to my channel this is sweet Ajele, and i am back with another recipe this is what i am craving today so i decided to share it with my sweet team as always and you are invited ahead of time but first let's get this meal going and today we'll be using some cocoa yam also known as taro okay now this is what mama is craving today so it is exactly what we would be having let's just hope mommy is not pregnant so <laughs> so i'm going to go ahead and peel our cocoa yam and give it a good wash i'll cut it into my preferred sizes give it another wash and then transfer it into our pot now since i've been craving garden eggs coming floor all week but i do not have garden eggs we will be substituting with coyote i love this vegetable not only is it super delicious but it is an excellent source of vitamin c which is important for many functions in the body including immunity collagen synthesis and scavenging free radicals it is also known for its anti-inflammatory anti-cancer and anti-diabetic properties so if you have diabetes this vegetable could be one of your go-to's and me i super love it and when you use this in your abomu please come back and testify <laughs> Please let me know what this vegetable is called where you are from. Peel and cut it beautifully. We'll also cut one onion in half that we will be using for our sauce. Then to a pot, add in our cocoa yam or terror. To that, our coyote will be using one tomato half of our onion we'll add in some eggs and one habanero pepper we'll season everything with some salt add enough water to cook everything cover it up and allow it to cook until nice and ready <laughs> back to check on our meal and i use a knife to check our coyote and also our terra they are almost done but i'll get out our habanero pepper and i'll grind it just it, it literally melts in the grinder once you cook it a little bit then we'll add in our onion and grind that as well once we grind it to our preferred smoothness for flavor we would be adding in some ground nuts and i brought this ground nuts from ghana you may use peanuts if you wish let me tell you something ground nuts if you are not allergic is a beautiful flavor enhancer okay so that is why we usually add it to these type of sauces once it's grinded to your preferred smoothness add in your tomatoes and grind as well at this point your eggs should be ready so get the eggs out as well and keep it in water until you're ready to peel and serve okay so yes we'll grind this until it is nice and smooth today's special tools goes to josephine osafo aisha abdullah from ghana and nadia mami buama from ghana thank you for always watching liking and sharing my videos it's time to check on our terror and coyote as you can see the knife went through so easily an indication that it's ready so we'll transfer the coyote into our grinder and grind it again to our preferred smoothness it does not have to be super smooth okay <music> Now that everything is beautifully grinded, we'll set it aside and I've gotten rid of the water from around our cocoa yam. I'll put some fish in there to warm it up and then in a pan, I'll add in some 
palm oil you may use any oil of your choice but palm oil is preferred so that we'll add in some sliced onions which is the other half of the onion that we cooked and i'm adding in one of the fish that we added to the coco yum and you know this means sweet tin tins is about to go on in my kitchen ajele nangomi yes so we'll add the fish. Once we add that, we'll give everything a stir. It is ready. Turn the fire off and allow the residual heat to finish this. I do not want my onions to get so soft. No, no, no. I want it to still have a bit of crunch in it. And we will serve this over our coming floor. And I set half of it aside because I cannot finish all of it. So you can see that it's not the same amount that we grinded. And I'll stir a little bit in with our sauce and then the rest with the onions we'll just use as garnish. We will add in our cocoa yam. The other half of the fish, I'm also adding in some avocado which goes so, so well with this dish and then we'll add in our eggs and garnish with a little bit of fresh onions for a super duper crunch because ajele me. now all that is left is for us to serve and enjoy and i cannot enjoy this alone so all are invited to enjoy this deliciousness with me if you've enjoyed me to this point why not let me know where you're watching from or comment sweet himo too and i'll give you a special too in our next recipe until i see you in the next one stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke onamini ochemi suite mahabo tu bye Fish. I'm sweet, I'm jealous. I'm bad. I'm